Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This is day one of the Rock Chuck Olympics 2023. Look at this scenery behind me, guys. I know the camera won't do it justice, but we are up in the state of Washington and we're gonna have a good day, but we got five competitors. I'm one of them. Six stages we're doing between today and tomorrow. I think this morning we're starting off with the stag arms ARs hunting scenarios walking through trying to find the targets and they're scoring us on how many targets we hit and it's gonna be a good time so cross your fingers for old hootie whole bunch of cool people out here hanging out with us stay tuned it's gonna be an awesome day all right we just finished the hunting course whole lot of fun everybody's having a blast What's next? What are we doing next? Uh, pistol. Next, we're doing pistols. Check this out. Here's the course right here that we're we're running the pistols. You can see some of the targets. We'll get some of this footage, but the hunting rifle range, we were down off in that holler with the stags. These right here. I got 17 points out of a possible 20 with some time multipliers. I think we're in pretty good shape right now. Hidden, you can see what's going on. So, a fairly simple stage. You start here at the top and knock the circle, and you're going to engage the rock chucks going down the hill. <coughs> Two rounds each. You say we're not shooting the circle. They're not shooting the circle. That was just, I'll pull the target off so there's no confusion. That was just there for you guys to check it over yesterday. Um, you will engage the targets with two rounds each. You must hit to move on. Cool. So, you can't get down until you get to the next one. You must do a mag change. Um, and we're going to do the same time multiplier as we did on this. So what is the, uh, the round count? It's, it's 20 rounds to clean it. Okay. And you have 40 rounds available. Okay. You can take, you can take 40, so you can miss, you can miss half the miss 20 sweet. And then, like, there are a couple points that are right next row. I want you to at least maintain a safe distance from that target. I don't want you getting closer than 8 yards to it. Right? So, I don't want you coming up. Right. Stay okay. on the road. Engage those targets. Okay? Somebody's gonna fall. Well, Trip slip and fall. Just tuck and roll. If you fall, make sure the gun is going to So there's ten targets, right? Yeah. Right. Ten targets. So, Alright, here goes Nils. He is a wild man world champion. Possible 20 points, two hits on each target before we can advance. And it ends down the hill down there. It's also on a downhill here. I think that was time there. Or has he got another one? Now we're doing long range pistol. We're doing 100 yards. And then I think the second one is like 250 with these canics. So be pretty interesting to see how we do with the long range nine millimeter. Backfire gems up first. You ready, range hot? Yep. I'm waiting for the conditions, guys. Target is right there. You get a sandwich. First round hit at a hundred. That, that was impressive. That flashbang works. Yes. Got him. <laughs> okay. 
Very nice. Two out of five. That was T post. Sweet. Two out of five. He is transitioning to the longer target. What are we expecting out of here? 265. Way down there. I haven't tried this one yet. This is. Oh, I didn't see any. 245 yards. No. No indication. Still nothing. Enough, no I think I'm about to lose a bet. <laughs> Good idea, Pete. <laughs> and he has oh, he got to two. He got two. No hits on the long. All right, so look at the scenery here. This is a pistola and a stag arms AR course. Let me show you the. There's four targets out here. There's one white one right there. There's another one in that V. And then there's two down right there. We're gonna have to hit them from back here, off of this log, and then off of that log in three different stages. And then we got a couple close range that we're gonna be using that canic up here and all that. So uh, yeah, should be good. Peter's going first. We got some wind up here. Target number one. Right there. Two hits. Now, target's up there. Right there. Now he's moving the pistol. Target way down there. Now he should be back to the AR switch, hitting the same targets down there, up there, and then more right here. All right, guys, so end of day one from the Rock Chuck Olympics, went in with the confidence. <sighs> Round one, we did like the hunting scenario, which they had me go first. It was kind of like walking through the path and you had to find the targets. I tied for first place. I had the same amount of hits, but I think my time actually might've been a little faster, so I might've actually got first place on the first round. Super stoked. Two thumbs up, all smiles all around. We're gonna take this thing over, right? The second one was the Pistolas. I did super good uh, in my mind. I didn't win, but we're also Competing against a world champion, Nils. You guys saw him in my first video, and I can't remember what we filmed today and what I filmed, what I didn't film. Probably filmed him in the, today's video too. So, after the first two rounds, I think it was kind of neck and neck between me and Nils from a scoring perspective. Tied for first, give or take a few millis, milla points. Then we got into the third stage where it was 200 yard and 250 yard with our stag ARs, chip shots, 200 yards, 250 yards. You guys see me do way beyond that all the time. Chip shots in my mind. In my mind going into it, I was gonna run the field 100% scores. We had 24 bow light slangs with the ARs. And then those Canic 9mm we're running, the Rival SFXs. Uh, absolutely love that 9mm. Very smooth shooting pistol. Uh, 
Well, hold on, I forgot I forgot a stage too. Um, but on that the last stage we did today, it was two gun, a bunch with the ARs at 200 yards and 250 yards, and then a bunch with pistols at like 10, 15 yards. Smoked those, no problem. And we also had like an 80 yard pistol target, which I did not get all those. But we also had the, the stage number three was 100 yards with our Canik 9 millimeters. Everybody got five shots. I got a hit. Uh, Eric Cortina got a hit. Jim from Backfire TV got two hits. But those hits were only worth one point. Um, so it didn't make a huge difference in the hold field. And then we had like a 250 yard target. Uh, everybody got five shots. Not a single person got it with the five shots. We actually took turns afterwards just having fun and just about everybody hit it. But 250 yards with a nine millimeter, that's a long ways. Uh, but after those four stages, they didn't tell us yet who's winning, but I'm still in the running to win, but I, I'm not in first place anymore. I think Nils Jonas is probably in first place. Uh, but tomorrow, we've got some more AR stuff a little bit further out to 350 yards or so. Uh, another little fun course. And then we're doing a longer range course with stag arms with 300 PRC, I think a six arc, and also our 223 carbines out to 1,280 yards. But there's definitely going to be some opportunity to go up in the leaderboard. I like to win. I'm going to do my absolute best uh, to bring home the W. Uh, but definitely going to be plenty of opportunity to move up in the field or also to move down the field. Uh, but hey, we're having a blast out here at the Rock Chuck Olympics 2023. Having so much fun. Good people. Awesome brands out here. Uh, but hey, appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned to find out more of the standings for the Rock Chuck Olympics 2023. Up here having an absolute blast in Washington.